According to an insider, King Charles wants Prince Harry back in the family to suppress the PR crisis. They added, if they don't sort it out, it will always be part of the king's reign and how he has left his family disjointed. He has had a reputation as a distant parent, and it would be awful for him for that to continue. In a previous interview, which coincided with Harry's memoir release in January, the Duke of Sussex declined to say whether he would attend his father's coronation. He said, the door is always open. The ball is in their court. Last week, it emerged that the King had requested the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to vacate their UK-based home, Frogmore Cottage. The couple last stayed at the property during their visit in June 2022 for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Dot royal family, Harry and Meghan face balcony relegation if they attend coronation. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex confirmed on the weekend they have been invited to the coronation of King Charles. Dot Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are unlikely to play any role in the coronation besides that of spectators if they decide to attend the event. As they are no longer senior members of the firm, the Duke and Duchess are not expected to take part in the royal procession scheduled for the day King Charles and Queen Camilla will be crowned side by side at Westminster Abbey. Dot Meghan and Harry are also unlikely to be invited on the balcony of Buckingham Palace alongside the King, Queen, the Prince and Princess of Wales and other full-time working royals, if the King is to follow the blueprint created by the late Queen for her Platinum Jubilee celebrations last June. Meghan and Harry have received the invite to the coronation, one of their spokesmen confirmed. However, he did not disclose whether they can be expected to be in London in May. He said, I can confirm the Duke has recently received email correspondence from His Majesty's office regarding the coronation. Dot meanwhile, Ms. Taylor's exit comes as the couple were planning to streamline the company's marketing arm according to reports. News of the departures has led some commentators to speculate about what could be happening behind closed doors at Archul. Kinsey Schofield, host of the Today for Daily podcast, described the Sussex staff as a revolving door of employees on her latest episode. Truly, I'm not exaggerating, it does feel like a revolving door of employees here in the U.S., she said. I am not familiar with the charity sector, but in the creative department, they are going through producers and they are going through people that are supposed to be managing all of this content, that we've barely seen any of. Dot the commentator was joined by journalist and author Valentine Lowe, who penned the 2022 book Courtiers, which explored the crucial role of royal aides in the effective functioning of the monarchy. Notably, Mr. Lowe broke the story of claims of bullying of royal staff by the Duchess of Sussex in an article for The Times in March 2021. The story was published just days before Oprah with Meghan and Harry, the explosive interview by Oprah Winfrey, was aired. Dot.